Hi guys, I'm here to talk to you really briefly about Kahoot. Um, it's a quiz based program that you can use um, for creating quizzes yourself or for students creating quizzes or for students um, using public Kahoots as quizzes that other students in the world have created. It's all sorted by topic and it's really um, a good tool to use in your classroom and thanks to Alana Herod for showing me this last year, it's been really good for me. Okay, so there's two websites that you need to bear in mind. The one that you will use is getkahoot.com and this is the first opening page you'll see. You'll just need to sign up for free the first time. The page that the kids will need is just Kahoot. If they just Google Kahoot, that'll be the first one that, that um, will show up. This is the first page that they will see. So the way that I set it up is that I have my screen projected on the board and they have their devices where they have this screen on their device. Okay, couple of options when you log in. You can create your own Kahoot. I won't go into that in too much um, detail now, but you can create different quizzes with um, multiple choice answers, true or false answers. Um, you can vary the time that the kids have to, um, uh, to answer as well. Okay, but I usually just choose one of the public Kahoots because there's 10.2 million of them currently to do. What you'll just need to do is to type in um, a, a search of the topic that you want to do. Let's say that, part of me, you want to do one about earthquakes. <coughs> so you type in your search and you can preview all of them as well to make sure that you've got a good um, choice of earthquake and it's, uh, of quizzes, sorry, and it's at the level that you want for your students. Okay, so let's say I want to have this one. Alright, just take a couple of minutes to load. Alright, so you need to have a um, uh, an option, either you go classic or team mode. I generally just go classic and that means that every um, student has their device and they're just versing the rest of each individual player in the class. Okay? Alright, so it comes up with a unique game pin on your device and then on, so I would have this projector on the screen, on their device, they will type in that pin, okay? So let's go 20981 for this quiz. Okay, so this is the student's um, device you'll be thinking that you're looking at now. So let's say they type in a nickname, um, and don't worry, inappropriate nicknames and um, anything that has inappropriate tags won't be allowed by Kahoot, so um, they can try and be tricky, but they won't succeed usually. Okay, so what will happen is um, this will be their screen, screen. On your screen, it'll come up with all the players logging in. I've just logged in, so I'm there as Nikki. Okay, then once you've had everyone in the class log in, ready for the quiz, um, we'll press start. Okay. Okie dokie. So this is my screen. It says the type of question on average an earthquake lasts for, and I have. 20 seconds to answer my question. On their screen, all it will see is the shapes, okay? So um, they're looking at your screen going, yep, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. All right, let's choose 30. All right. And I got it incorrect, okay? So what I'll do now is I'll show you, if this is confusing, I'll show you a video of my kids playing a Kahoot this afternoon, um, and that will hopefully make a little bit more sense of how this all works. It's really a great tool and I would um, encourage you to use it and to get your boys to give it a go. It seems a little bit messy and complicated but it really isn't um, as you'll see in the next video.